Hi everyone, my name is Samantha Lee. I'm a director and you're watching a brand new episode of Cosmo Confessions. So I'll be answering a list of questions that the Cosmo team has prepared for me. So let's get started. The first thing I do when I wake up, this is like a recent development, but I wake up and I do a morning meditation. The last thing I do before I sleep is I usually am on Twitter before I sleep, which is not good for me, I know, so yeah. Depends on what mood I'm in, but recently it's been bad guy. <laughs> oh my god, I think it was like Pocahontas, but I'm not sure. Is she a celebrity? <laughs> yeah. Like I watched when I was like that, when Pocahontas came out on VHS, I watched it every night before I slept for like two months. I'm a pretty like late bloomer, so I think I had my first love when I was 22, 23, and I have no idea. I don't remember anymore, but we're still like really great friends. So, <laughs> um, and in typical filmmaker fashion, I like made a film about her before like I could trust her. So, and I got an email from that. So. <laughs> Yes, it's the same same person. Uh, I took it pretty hard because it was like my first real relationship. But like I said, we're we're like still really good friends now, so it doesn't really count as a heartbreak. My love language is acts of service and quality time. But I like giving acts of service and I like giving quality time, but I like receiving quality time and gifts. This is pretty funny because I went to film school for my undergrad, but the whole time, the whole five years I was there, I didn't really think that I wanted to be a filmmaker, so I just was there to kind of get a degree. Uh, it wasn't until like much later on when I was like living abroad and I kind of set up my life there already that I realized that the privileges I was experiencing living in that country wasn't the same set of privileges I had back home. Uh, and so I had this like really grand romantic notion that I was going to make films that would help the younger version of myself come out. So I packed up my stuff and moved back here. I think that was like September 2016. Uh, and then my first film came out November 2017. I hope I got the dates right, but it was my Saturn return, if that matters. But <laughs> first TV show that I watched that really had like a big impact on my identity was uh, the OC season 2 when Olivia Wilde was like a guest star and so she played Alex Kelly who ended up dating Marissa Cooper and at that time it was huge right because the OC was this really big primetime show and one of your leads who was also like an it girl had a relationship with another girl. So that was like a pretty big moment for me. Plus like Alex Kelly, I'm kind of dressed like her now. She was like wearing white beaters and like drove around in a Jeep. Um, yeah, so that was like something, that was cool for me. She had a butterfly tattoo. I've watched Notting Hill so much times already that I already know when it's on Netflix and when it's not because sometimes they take it out. So, <laughs> yeah, I think it's Notting Hill, yeah. Mm, 
Well, for Sleep With Me, we had to sh- I had to direct like my first sex scene. Um, and so <laughs> I, so we shot that on Valentine's Day and Janine is like one of my really close friends. So you can imagine the awkwardness of having to like direct your friend in a sex scene. So we were both like super nervous about it. Um, and then I brought a bottle of <laughs> Brought a bottle of alcohol on set, and then Love You was like, "Oh, there's alcohol. Let's like let's take shots." So like they ended up taking shots, uh, and it ended up great. Um, but you know, it's, I have to say, like it was a team of all women, and there were only four of us on set when we shot that. So um, yeah, I think it's not like funny, haha, but it was like really awkward for me to really shoot that. Yeah. I really super like meet cutes, um, just because I think especially these days when we're all just like on apps and on social media, like meet cutes don't happen enough in real life. So the longer we're in this age of new technology, the less meet cutes happen. So whenever I see that on screen, like a meet cute with like a really good soundtrack behind it. Like I, I live for that stuff. Dream cast. It depends. But so my 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 dream project, and I say this like in every interview, because like I just wanna put I put it out there, is I wanna adapt the book America is not the heart by Elaine Castilla into film. Like that's my dream film project. Another one is I have a female assassin movie that I really want to make. Uh, that I don't think it will get funded. It's called World's Keepest Killers. So <laughs> uh, those are my two dream projects. Dream cast, uh, Kate Blanchett. <laughs> Because <laughs> uh, I love, like, I also love, like, heist films. So I really loved Ocean's 8. So, I don't know, I'm digressing from the question. But Kate Blanchett, for sure, green cast. It's from Bahabukas, uh, and it's, I'm the number one fan of Who You Are at 3 a.m. <laughs> it's available on YouTube, you should go watch it. <laughs> my most useless skill is I can uh, turn my hand around 360 degrees when it's on a flat surface. And then I can just do this. <laughs> the table's not steady. Oh no, I can't do it na. Only 90, 90 degrees. Okay, no one knows this. Except for like five people. But I was in LA uh, last July for the premiere of my show Sleep With Me. And I don't know if you guys know who Saw Me is. She's a really big K-pop star. <laughs> so I was in Target in LA because I was like buying snacks and then you know when you're like crossing paths with someone and you can kind of sense that they're like looking at you. So that kind of happened between so <laughs> Sami and I were like passing each other like that and then I kind of like looked back at her and then when I looked back because obviously it was like this girl with like blonde hair so when I looked back like we made eye contact and then I was like, oh my god, are you Sami? And then she's like, yeah. And I was like, oh my god, my name is Sam. I'm a really huge fan. I'm from the Philippines. And then she's like, yeah. And I was like, why is she gesturing her hands around like that? And then when my eyes rack focus from Sami to what was behind her, uh, I realized that we were in the tampon aisle. And I was so embarrassed. I was like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to like interrupt you. I tried to say hi. Uh, okay, bye. And then like I just left. Like 
Like, like I felt so bad for her because I didn't even know like where we were, and I just wanted her to be able to buy her items in peace. Um, so yeah, so that was embarrassing. But she's really super beautiful and nice in real life. So yeah. <laughs> I can't say that on camera, but I, I will say a lot of things you probably heard aren't true. <laughs> As I'm a Scorpio, so I'm like fiercely loyal and fiercely protective of my friends. So if I ever did end up in jail, it would probably be related to that, like I was defending someone or something. <laughs> yeah. And that's it for today. As a Scorpio, that was really hard for me to like say a lot of things about myself. But I hope you guys had fun. If you want to see anyone else on Cosmo Confessions, please leave a comment down below. Please follow me on social media. It's at Give Me Sam and give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the Cosmo YouTube channel for more interesting content. Bye.